Okay, so let's quickly recap some of the salient points of JavaScript functions. Functions can be written in the literal form, right? Just like you have objects var or obj equals and then the curly brace actual object in line, you can have functions in line. Uh, a function is a value that can be assigned to a variable. We've already seen this. Uh, you can call it by passing in arguments and those arguments are available to the function. And now here's a secret. Functions are also objects, okay? The way JavaScript deals with functions is by actually creating an object. So when you assign a function to a variable, you're actually creating an object which happens to be a function and you're assigning it to the variable. Okay, so this is the this is how JavaScript deals with functions in the background. We talked about flexible argument count. We said if you can pass more than what's required, it's ignored. If you pass less than what's required, the remaining arguments are undefined. Uh, we discussed how function overloading is not possible because you know no matter how many arguments you pass, it's always going to call the same function. We looked at default arguments the arguments argument and the this, which we didn't cover in detail, but know that it's there. And then we use the arguments argument in order to get all the arguments to a particular function and use it for computation. Now to quickly summarize function declaration, here's an example of a simple function declaration. This is how you would traditionally write functions as function, function name, argument list, and then the body. And then you can call it by sending arguments to that function and get hold of the return type. And we looked at how JavaScript has this other thing called function expressions, which is you having a function and assigning it to a variable. And you can use that variable in order to call the function. And then we looked at anonymous function expressions where you don't have a name in the function expression and the function is just referred to using the variable. Okay, so these are anonymous function expressions. And then finally, we looked at how functions can be properties on an object. And you can call functions as properties of the object by using the object variable dot property and then the parentheses to call function.